Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a rare sunny January day in the UK and I'm here today with the Boxster S. So this car is featured on the channel a couple times now. Um, I'm not sure I've given everyone a quick walk around it, but it's rocking 18 inch Carrera wheels. It's a Boxster S facelift model. So it's got all the different front bumpers, slightly different rear bumper, a uh, few different things, glass windscreen and all that good stuff. So today I'm going to go through a quick modification I've done to my car. So if we just head inside. So before I had a bit of a dodgy shifter. Okay. So what I have done is I have changed the shifter itself from the 986 stock shifter to a 997 shifter, which is slightly shorter than the original shifter in the 986. Not too short, but just a little bit shorter. Um, I didn't want anything too crazy. Um, this is a daily driver for me, so I want to keep it easy to shift, not like just having to ram it into gears, if you know what I mean. Also recently i have updated the shifter cables so beforehand on the old shift cables i would do that and it would get stuck but now as you can see it returns back to central now this is because the shifter cables stretch over time so yeah changing the shift cables is a good idea if you find your shifter getting stuck in places it just feels a bit uh, sloppy and not going into gear properly and with these cables these are numeric shifter cables. Um, I can put a link to the website uh, in the description. But these cables are upgraded from stock. So they feel a lot more solid when you're shifting. Like that. And I can show you a video of what they look like in the engine bay too. I think that 
sums up everything on the um, the shifter cables and the shifter itself. Highly recommend doing it. Um, definite improvement, especially if you've never changed cables or shifter in your car and you've got a Boxster 986 like me. Then that shifter and those cables are going to be looking at what minimum 24 years old, right? Um, so the chances are, unless your car hasn't done many miles, then your cables are probably going to be stretched and the shift is probably going to be loose and sloppy. So yeah, definitely a worthy upgrade. So the cables I think cost around £400-ish, maybe a little bit more expensive. Um, especially, well, it was a little bit more expensive for me because I believe Numeric is an American company and I had to get them shipped to the UK. So, but even with that, still worked out only a touch more expensive than if I was to go to Design 911 and pick up a factory set of cables, so yeah, and on that note I think um, that's everything from me, so um, I don't normally do this but if everyone could um, subscribe and like this video that would really help me out and motivate me into making more videos, um, it really helps out small creators such as myself, uh, keeps me motivated to make more videos, so yeah. Hopefully 2024 is going to be my year where I decide to uh, make some more videos for you guys and uh, hopefully you enjoy them. Okay then everyone, bye for now.